course, looking beautiful from home today. Is that where you are? Where are you guys? We are in our family home. In our dining room, to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> How have you been there the whole time? Like, have you been quarantining? Have you been out? Have you at least moved around a little bit? Studio, maybe? Well, it's funny because we actually have a beautiful setup of our studio here. So we never have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's your life anyway, right? You could probably yeah. do it all the time anyway. Yeah, exactly. At first, I was like, I don't think I can do this. But now I'm like, I've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. After we do like work and stuff, we'll binge watch a bunch of shows. Right now, we're on Love Island. And we've been Wait, what are you watching? Tell me what you're watching because I need new shows. Tell me what you're watching. We love like reality TV. So mm -hmm. we love Love Island, UK season five. We love Ooh. Love After Lockup. Yep. Love, huh? okay. So good. Um, of what course, we Love watching? and Hip Hop. Of course. What all else? the loves. You love all oh, the yeah. love stuff. Blind <laughs> Love. Did you watch Blind yeah. Love? Yeah, yeah, and, love is yep. blind is good on Netflix we and Ozark. Them. This was not reality, but Ozark is good too on Netflix. Oh, you know, I haven't even gone. I, I, everybody in my family went went without me, so I haven't watched it yet. But that's my next next one. I'm gonna catch up on. Okay. But but hi guys, we've never done this. I hate that it's on Zoom, and I hate that I can't be in your presence. I you know I think you girls are amazing, and um mm -hmm. and congratulations on everything, and congratulations on the new album. Thank, Thank you. you. That means a lot coming from you. You're amazing. Yeah. You sound, uh, I love, you know, I was listening to the album earlier today. It's, it's so like cohesive and such a vibe from the beginning to the end. It's just, it doesn't feel like, you know, sometimes, especially with, not that you're new artists, I know you've been doing this for a while, but sometimes artists become what's around, what, what's like hot around them. You know, like sometimes people are really influenced on what's going on. And you guys have always, even from the beginning, just had your own sound and your own vibe and Thank you. Which is really, really special and really dope. So, but I know a lot of people are asking you this, but like, this is like a grown-up album. Like, you're on a grown-up album now. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm 20 now, and Chloe's about to be 22. So, we're really just writing about our life and reflecting the times that's going on in our life right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been through love and some heartbreak experiences as well as you know just figuring out ourselves and insecurities and dealing with how to really just love yourself mm -hmm. so all of that is in the album and i i really appreciate the journey that we kind of go on through the album because we're growing as as we go on yeah. so yeah but as much as you're together too I, I would imagine you guys have different experiences and different feelings oh, yeah. about things and so does that become like a conflict when you're sisters together live your lives together and then you're making music because i'm sure you don't always agree and always have the same idea about everything honestly it helps enhance the process uh, because we have even though we're very close and our mentality is the same but it's also very different we have two completely different perspectives we both grew up loving two different kinds of music our singing tones are different and the way we think is different i'm a cancer she's an aries she's really headstrong i'm more of the sensitive one so it's really interesting how we can layer our lyrics and like tell two different sides of the story and because we're also each other's best friends we know what the other one's going through like the tt mm -hmm. so we'll right. like <laughs> Yeah, so like the one who's going through it, she'll share that side of her story and then we'll also have the perspective of how it feels and how it's seen looking from the outside. So I think it, it adds more layers to the lyrics and it makes it even more interesting. Yeah, what's that production process like? Because it sounds really big. It sound, I know you work with different people and stuff, but it sounds, it sounds big, the productions. You know what I mean? It just sounds like there's a lot of heart and a lot of time. It doesn't sound slapped together. It sounds like... Yay! I don't know. If, I don't know if a lot of people were involved, but it sounds like a lot of people were involved. <laughs> well, what's so amazing about it is that my beautiful sister is an amazing producer. Our yeah. first album, she produced our whole first album. This album, she produced mostly all of it as well. And I'm always so blown by her because every time we go into like sessions with any big producers, like for this album, we also worked with Scott Storch and Boy Wonder, and mm -hmm. she plays like her tracks and the stuff that we're using for the album they always are just like what this came out of like this little girl like that's so amazing so we've always taken so much ownership in our music and we've always wanted to keep our musical integrity no matter how, what if we do a song that's kind of a bop as well we've always want to keep that musicianship within there because at the end of the day we're just music lovers who love it 
for the art mm -hmm. so you could tell you could hear it was it interesting for you and different for you to work with other people like is that is that challenging because sometimes you know you like to do things your own certain way yeah well, in the beginning it's a little intimidating not gonna lie uh, but then once you kind of get in the room and you kind of claim and own your space you kind of get into the groove of things and like usually it's just sis and i creating in our garage and normally like when I'll be making a beat I only let her hear it while I'm creating it because I get really shy and I'll put myself in my headphones uh, so it, it's weird like stepping out of your comfort zone when we're writing and producing with other artists uh, but when we finally do we kind of realize like we're doing the same thing as them we're just yeah. as great as young women and we're still growing and learning every day and we're just learning and owning our power and our craft so that's that's really important to believe in yourself because if you don't then no one else will at the end of the day yeah it's like you have to trust yourself right yeah, it, yeah, takes, yeah. it takes a little time but you're doing an incredible job man congratulations on that so what is it is it a bummer kind of that this is happening in this time in this era and what's like i'm sure you had visions of what this album release was going to be like and what you were going to be doing and I mean, you guys have been on, you are the, on the on the run tour. Like you are used to being out there, <laughs> the big crowds and. Yes, of course. But you know what's so great about this time? Like we believe in divine timing mm -hmm. and God's yes. timing for everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've been finished with this album since November of last year, and we've kind of been like searching for the right date to release yeah. it. And originally, it was supposed to be June fifth. Um, but of course, with the recent events and everything going on in the world today, we felt like we just wanted to shine the light on what was important, which was getting justice for George Floyd and all of the other brothers and sisters that we've lost to police brutality. But also, I think being in this time when everybody's in quarantine, people are really digesting music and really listening to music because it's a healer during mm. this time. So I, I say that all the time. It's so necessary. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good time for it so we're just happy it's finally out yeah and we had our baby <laughs> you had your child your little baby and she's grown up she's like an oh she's like an adult now yeah. <laughs> not an adult child you're talking about like you know some adult things on this album yes. oh, she grown <laughs> she grown and is that weird like when you play with your parents like oh my... yeah that was a whole other thing so we're huge family girls and I so know. our little brother who's 14 uh, he's kind of like our little mini a and r like we always run stuff by him we're like what do you think about this branson and he has like the best like music ear um so we play it for him and he's like oh yeah this is fire so then we're like oh we gotta play it for our parents because some of the things we're talking about on the album we haven't really shared with them outside of the <laughs> music so when we play the songs for them i remember we played busy boy for our dad in our studio and he listened to it and he was like, what are y'all saying? He was like, what are y'all talking about? And then he listened to it about like two or three. What did you say? What did you tell him? What did you tell him? You were like, dad, it's art, it's music. You know, we just, it's just life experiences. You put it in the music. Yeah. Like, and then he listens again and he's like, okay, I like it. I see what you all are talking about. We're like, see? And he goes, my girls are growing up. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's that. <laughs> I love that you're confident in that. And I love that you, I mean, you, you know, I love that you, you go with it. Some people get scared about how other people are going to receive stuff, especially yeah. when you're in transition like that, where like you're into, into womanhood and you gotta so be brave, so you know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I, I read somewhere that you said that Beyonce listened to it and that she had no notes. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. So Does she normally have notes Does she normally like, yes, she is a very amazing perfectionist. So everything, she will voice her opinion. She will say how she feels about it. And we always welcome her notes because that's Beyonce. That is Beyonce. Right. Her opinion and she's been through what we're going through now. So of course, when we sent the album and, and we just heard like, oh, this is amazing. We're so, I'm so proud of you girls. Like we were like, whoa. And saw no notes. We were like, okay. She just really actually like it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, a good, that's a good feeling. That's a good, that's a good thumbs up to get from somebody. Yeah, especially yeah. her. For sure, for sure. Is she normally involved? Does she get involved with the production and, and like any of that? Does she get involved with your studio sessions or ideas about creative stuff for you going in? 
you know, what I love about her is that she allows us to flourish on our own. Like it's our ideas we're putting out, our production, our musicality. And there will be some times where she'll like voice her opinion, like it would be cool if you work with this person. You know, she recommended us getting in the studio with Scott Storch uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, they worked together on her earlier stuff. And when we actually got in the studio with Scott, we made such great music. We made Do It With Him and Victoria Monet. And we also made Lonely With Scott as well. So we had like five sessions with him, mm -hmm. but it's so cool. like even the most minor notes she she knows what she's talking about right. um, so anything she offers we always welcome with open arms and you got no notes on this go around that's pretty telling that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good i love how you ladies been using your voices too and kind of just you know speaking out during these times when there's real change happening it's like we're really at a remarkable time in history right now and I wonder just as young women and be how you guys are coping with that. How you feeling? Are you feeling optimistic? Does it scare you? Are you um, emotional? Yes. Um, in the, absolutely. I mean, these past few weeks have felt, especially in the beginning, very heavy. We're very emotional, you know, because when we see what's been happening to George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, you know, we think of our families. That could have been our dad. That could have been our little brother. That could have been our mom. So we are just constantly trying to use our voices to lift people up during this time. And I'm so proud of this generation for standing up for what we believe in and not taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing to be a, a young person right now because we truly can make change with our voices and that's all we'll continue to do. Yeah, and it's really happening when you look at like, and just in the past week or two, and I know you guys have spoken out about Brianna, Brianna Taylor's case, mm -hmm. um, and even just all the activism that's been going on and people talking about it, and now they just passed the law for yeah. no, no knock warrant. That only happened because young people and people came out and stood up. It's really, to me, that's really inspiring. Yeah, like, it's, it feels like, you know, there was a lot of work to do, but it feels inspiring. Yeah, it's, it's like a very hopeful time, even though it's very heavy and sad. It's like, okay, I'm starting to see change because sadly this has been going on for years and years from our ancestors to even now. So it's exciting to see how people are not being ignorant to it anymore and they're not turning the blind eye and we're all kind of raising our voices up out about it. So it's a hopeful time, definitely. Yeah, I know, I know you, Hallie, too, have experienced experience the dark side of America showing its ugly racist face when it was announced that you were going to play Ariel. Ariel. Ariel? Mm -hmm. Ariel. Yeah. Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. Um, did that surprise you in the moment when it happened? You know, I don't know if it surprised me um, because I've, I've always known that people at the end of the day, everybody's going to have an opinion and they're going to feel some type of way, especially when it comes to Disney movies that you've grown up on and you feel so close to. Um, but all, yeah. <laughs> Just characters you're talking about that we grew up in? But go ahead, yeah. yeah. So literally all I can do is just try my best. And you know, I'm so grateful to be in a position to take on uh, you know, a role of a Disney princess and show other black girls that, hey, you can be Ariel too. You know, yeah. um, you can be a princess, you're beautiful as well so i just kind of stay positive and and turn the other way to that you know well, you All guys will be stunned when they hear her sing because i've heard it and i've been crying and like her rehearsals wait what do you mean tell me tell me what that's what coming so that's all oh, i have to say i'm so proud. wait what is you broke up a little what did you say I'm just so proud of my sister. She's going to be amazing. Everyone's dolls are going to be to the fore when it finally gets out. And yeah, so. I'm Is it so done? Are you finished already with it? No, I'm not finished. I was oh. actually, we actually lived in London at the beginning of this year because I was starting the process and rehearsing for three months. And it was such a beautiful experience. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> So, of course, the whole world is on pause now because of COVID, but yeah. I cannot wait to go back. It's going to be so good. And you guys handled it so gracefully, and you're still so graceful about it. But I just wonder if it, because it's such a great, it's like a big announcement. And what, oh, you probably were thrilled when you heard the news you got it. Probably thrilled to tell your family and your friends, and then you announce it. I just wonder if it was hurtful in the moment when it first happened. Yes, of course, words hurt sometimes, but at the end of the day, I just have to keep my head up and remember to not pay attention to that kind of stuff and uh, just to keep 
the ones that I love and the, the people who are saying good messages in my ear, keep them close because that's what yeah. matters. And you know what's great as well? Yeah. My sister here, she also just worked on a movie with Russell Crowe. She filmed Ow. it in November and it's called the Georgetown Project. So she's also doing big movies as well. So that's really exciting. Yeah, you guys are going to do movies for a long time. You're going to do movies and music and be around. We're going to be able to watch all of yeah. that. <laughs> thing um and also just the last thing i wanted to just say about that because i just think it's sensitive times now people are really aware where maybe they weren't at that moment even even though that wasn't that long ago i think the tone of then and the tone of now and the awareness mm -hmm. is the awareness is so much stronger now and i think the other side of a, of a negative situation like that is we saw so many people stand up for you we yeah. saw so much love and so much like you know what i'm saying i think there's always like a beautiful side to the to the other, you know, on the other side of yeah, negativity. Definitely. So what's up with your movie? When is that, when does that come out? So uh, we finished filming it like December. I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but it's a scary movie. And I remember I was a bit intimidated at first because I'm a big scaredy cat. But when I read the script, it was so beautifully written. And I was like, okay, I have to go for this. I they don't tell you in the beginning of the movie, do they? Cause that would be terrible. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, if I saw the time. Now's not the time, America. Yeah, yeah, now. <laughs> but um, it was so much fun being out there filming. I learned so much about myself as an actress, being with all these Oscar award winning actors. Um, oh. And I can't wait for everyone to see it. So it'll be fun. And I can't wait for us to get into even more projects and even start scoring for films and all that good stuff. So it'll be fun to continue our like journey with this as well. You're so dope. You're such great role models, too. What do you think uh, people need to know? Congratulations again, by the way, on the album. What do you want people to know about it? Wow. I just want people to know that they can listen with an open mind and open ears and know that we are growing up and just listen to it to jam out and to learn to be okay with accepting every part of who you are. Word. And then you, oh my God, wait, you guys get the, is this your first voting? Is this your first time that you'll be voting for president? It'll be my yeah. second. My first time was last time. And, you know, I still let my voice be heard. I was disappointed with the results, but I'm going to let my voice be heard again. I'm so, going to vote. Yeah, it'll be my first time. Woo, woo. First time. How we exciting! <laughs> I mean, you go in, you press the button, it's super easy. It's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> but you do feel there is something, I don't know, there's something powerful about that. The yeah. sticker, it's like... <laughs> a little sticker. I mean, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are, are are well, and congratulations again on the album. And hopefully we'll do this soon, right? Like I'll see you in person, and you'll come up and anytime. Yes, we love you. I, we I would love that. I adore you guys. God bless. Thank you so much for today, and congratulations. Get the album, everybody.